Good morning students. Our topic for today is manual solving of true wind. On board ship, manual solving is no longer necessary since the equipment will solve it for you. It is undeniable to say that technology indeed provides convenience in our workplace. It made our task easier and simpler. In other words, it made us more technology dependent since technology literally do the job for us, especially the manual computation. But what if circumstances happen wherein technology is incapacitated to complete the job for you? Therefore, it is important to know the basic. In this video, I will show you on how to manually solve the true wind. At the end of this video, you should be able to provide true wind speed and direction without looking into the equipment. First, complete the required information. We need to have the heading and speed of the ship and direction and speed of the apparent wind in order to get the true wind direction and speed. The heading of the ship is 000 degrees true and its speed is 18 knots, while the apparent wind direction is 40 degrees port side and the speed is 15 knots. Make a scale and make a compass rose. On the compass rose, plot the heading and speed of the ship. Likewise, the direction and speed of the apparent wind. This is the heading of the ship, 000 degrees true. While, this is the ship's speed 18 knots. This is the apparent wind direction, 40 degrees port side. This is the apparent wind speed, 15 knots. After plotting, connect the two vectors, starting from the vector of the ship. Please take note that in connecting the vectors, it should start from the vector of the ship. The formed vector, colored in red, is the vector of the true wind. Now, bring that vector into the scale to measure its length. The length represents the speed of the true wind. In this case, the speed of true wind is 11.7 knots. After getting the speed, bring the vector to the center in order to get the true wind direction. Therefore, our true wind direction is 236 degrees true. Again, our true wind direction is 236 degrees true. And our true wind speed is 11.7 knots. So, that's the end of the process. I hope, at this time, by yourself, you can now provide true wind without relying on the equipment available in the bridge. If you had any trouble in catching up the steps, feel free to watch again the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, Maritime YouTube University.